The opening days of the Prana Cup had everything. Drama. Great racing. Some surprise results. And it ended with American Magic fighting to save their boat, Patriot. Here's how it all unfolded. American Magic against Luna Rossa of Italy in the final race of the day. The Americans with no victories yet in the Prada Cup, desperate to get a win before the weekend racing was over. By gate five, the Americans were in command and that's when disaster struck. A big gust after a difficult mark rounding and there was no way back for helmsman Dean Barker and his boat. We'd seen capsizes before, but this one was different. Patriot was righted, but there was something very wrong. She appeared to be sinking. Well, this is a well-rehearsed operation, and we've seen it done a few times for real. And up she comes. Patriot is back up. Oh, look at the bow, though. Something's not right. That's semi-submerged there. The crew know it. They're going to have a look. Well, now it's all about keeping the boat afloat. They're going to try and inflate some, some floats under the bow to keep it up. Pumping the water off the boat to give them time to inflate the supports. Some of the other teams have come in to help now. So the Emirates team, New Zealand uh, support boat is there. The American Magic crew trying to do their best. There's Peter Burling, winner of the last cup, cutting something away, helping the opponents. Real America's Cup community feel and spirit here something we would be used to talking about in past years. Local Coast Guard helping out with their pumps. Looks like the boat's stabilised now. Helmsman Dean Barker giving some instructions, the Luna Rossa crew helping out as well there. Well they don't want to lose another challenger do they? There's only three of them already. Looks like things have been stabilised on the waters off Auckland here. The boat is safe. But how much work are they going to have to do to get it ready for the next round robins? That is the big question. Those begin next Friday. They have four days of very hard work ahead of them. So what else happened on day three of the round robins in the Prada Cup? Well, race one was Luna Rossa against Ineos Team UK, the British as yet unbeaten. During the race, a large wind shift led to the race being abandoned and the two teams tried again. Course reset, teams chose opposite sides. Every time they crossed, the race remained close there seemed little to split the two. Gate two, Luna Rossa had the slenderest of leads, seven seconds ahead. The British closed the gap and by gate four, they'd gone ahead, well ahead, 24 seconds ahead. There was little the Italians could do to get back now and Ineos scored their fourth victory out of four. So after three days racing in the first set of round robin races, this is the leaderboard and who would have thought we'd be looking at this? Ineos Team UK, after a disastrous warm-up campaign before Christmas, they've revolutionised their boat and they've come back to dominate this Challenger series.